It's only four in the morning. It's got to get better. Oh, that was a close save. Who is your daddy? You guys are witnessing a miracle right here. She's gone. Oh, my little, my little black one's so five. Good. Good morning. Quads are good. Hi, goat. Let's go see if there's babies. I don't hear any. Groaner. My down you is doing down here. I don't see any babies. Hey mama, you walked all the way down here yesterday. How are you doing? Have you had water since you're way down here? Hmm? How are you doing? I'd like to see you get up. Let's see. Wow. She might have retained placenta, so I might have to give her another shot of penicillin. I started treatment yesterday, so that'll be three days. Come on. I see you get up. Come on. Come on, you walked all the way down here yesterday. You need to stay up, not be easy. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. It's pretty gross back there, so. Hey, it's not doing so good, eh? I'm gonna treat her now for retained placenta because she's got a little bit there still. I would say this one here. Starting to uh, labor. <laughs> it's Tuesday. I'm hoping today's going to be a better day. However, as I walked into the barn, I won't be able to show you guys um, that really, really skinny you that had the had the twins, and I pulled one out already and put it in the the um, bottle baby pen. She has died. So anyway, she is. She looks like she's sleeping. So I can put it on here, but uh, I want you guys to know she indeed is not sleeping. She is gone. I didn't like the way she looked yesterday. She came up to eat once. Other than that, she did not look good. So I'm going to have to try to get that baby trained today on the machine. I'm not sure if it's ever had a bottle, so it could be tough. I guess not the greatest start to a day, but I'm still gonna stay. I'm still gonna stay optimistic that it's only four in the morning. It's gotta get better. What are you doing, lady? Is that a head? I better check. Oh, that was a close save. She almost had it. I just needed a little pull. Good money. I'll let them just settle for a sec. Good mom. She's already trying to get up. 
Wow. Good mom. Love your baby. That's a big lamb. Yes, I'm wearing a hat. No, I never wear hats. Well, I wear toques. Essential services also includes hair colorist. So I've got a little some some going on. You guys don't need to see that. Oh, my hands are a mess. Husbands. Uh, Carissa also had a set of twins when she got here. And they're doing good. She said they were up and drinking. Holy, you guys look Charlay. Look at these. You guys look like Charlay. Who is your daddy? What the heck? You must have some in you. These are my 2016 ewe lambs, and I don't really actually know who the, the dads are. It was the first year that I started breeding my own replacement lambs, ewe lambs, and uh, I had a whole different ram battery. Like I had some Charlay Texel crosses. I had a couple Charlays. I had some Dorsets. I had I had everything. So this could be just a descendant of that. They definitely look Charlay. Look at that. Crazy. Love it. I like this U. I've always liked this U. Her big her big eyes, big jersey eyes. Hi. Like mama's coming in her milk finally. If she's staying still. So we fed these triplets the bottle all day yesterday because she just had no milk. But this morning they wouldn't really drink. So I'm wondering if she finally just slowly came into it. See how long they stay on. If they go on the teat and get right off it, it means there's really nothing there. She's milked out or she doesn't have it. But if they stay on it, then there's something there. Take two. And you want the tail to waggle. Waggle tail to wag and for the lamb to stay on and if they do both those things there's probably milk and yesterday they wouldn't stay on that nearly that long so that's a good sign good mom all right I got her moved into the pen here with her baby but I think she might be having another one so I'm just gonna check her see what we got a bit of a slow start, but it is breathing. <laughs> Come on guy, I just took off my gloves. Sometimes to get them kind of started, I'll stick, I want them to get mad, so I'll just to start blowing some air. So I just tickle their nose, get them to kind of sneeze, there we go, shake their head. Come on. 
want them to blow that excess snot out. Sometimes it just gets some going. Come on, Mom. You can help me out here, eh? There it goes. Okay, let's get in this one. What are you doing? I'm not your mom. No, I'm not. Just, buddy. You're cute. Just wait till she gets up. Goodness, she just slammed. Oh my god, it's drinking. Oh. Oh my heart. Oh. You guys are witnessing a miracle right here. Like, never give up. Got another new lamb in. Right here. I see feet. What do you think, Ruby? What do you think? She's making a lot of noise, eh? Hmm? So pretty. So my you had twins so far. Twin girls. And I put it on Instagram Live. Here, I'll let you guys see. You look like your mommy. Yeah. Go see your mom. Don't follow me. Yeah, go to that. Go to that one. Yeah. First steps. Not me. Oh, to mom. I love that noise. You gotta see this. We've got a new little set of twins, just born. This nice little lamb. Lots of milk. Hi guys, hello. I'm sitting beside my down view and I no longer have to make a decision because the you died at lunchtime. <sighs> Which I'm so surprised. I thought she wasn't doing good. She was back in the back corner this morning. She wouldn't eat, wouldn't drink. I treated her again. Looked like she had retained placenta, so she was given, like, she just lambed. So I've given her an antibiotic since she's lambed and still doing this, the calcium treatments and the glycol and she's gone. So thankfully her lamb is doing good still and uh, we did lose the one yesterday. So all in all, I have one lamb out of all this. It did not cost much to treat that you, uh, just my time and some prayers and uh, support from you guys. It's, it's worth it. I learned a lot. I just thought once the lambs were out and she was walking, it would be a better, a better outcome. But unfortunately, uh, it wasn't. That's two today. So tough day. 
uh, a couple tough days after a couple really good days and I just thinking with farming you gotta take the good with the bad. We are gonna move on from this and I learned a lot. I learned a lot from knowing the difference between uh, milk fever and preg tox which I didn't really know. I have always assumed that my ewes have gone down with pregnancy toxemia but looking back I'm like maybe it's been milk fever some of those times so I know now for next time to take it a lot more seriously and figure out, you know, quicker if what it is. I love coming in here at night and just watching them. They're just getting their... <laughs> they're just getting spunky. I love this age when they're a couple days old and just hanging out with mom. <laughs> So I came just to check on these bottle babies, but I think she's got them trained nicely or they would be crying like crazy with me standing here. So I think they're trained. So far I have to take a couple quads off still and a triplet. Just want to make sure my little black lamb's still doing good. She got a, he got a tag today. So it's officially Looks like it's drinking. He's smiling. <laughs> I'm feeding a bottle to the, the quads and whichever one drinks the best, which is right now this one, and I think the one laying down there. I think those will be the selections, and you like me, so that's good. And then uh, I'm going to, I decided I'm gonna pull them out tonight and put them in the bottle baby pen. Uh, I'm just gonna fill their bellies now, so in the morning, they'll get through till morning, but in the morning they'll be good and hungry, and they should go right on the machine. A baby, a baby. Just wanna get it. Kind of glad I came back out. <laughs> Brand new. Okay, I'm gonna let her do her thing. gonna lamb again right away. Uh 
Mom, turn around. Moved her into the pen with the babies, and they're doing really, really well. And I'm just kind of enjoying the rain tonight. A little storm just kind of there's some thunder. Ironically, the calm before the storm, because there's a lot to go, and we've been busy. A couple little heartaches today, and that can happen. And I find it does happen happen at lambing if they're. If there's anything wrong with a ewe, uh, she can hide it quite well until lambing time. And lambing time, you know, we're, we're expecting a lot out of them, out of their bodies. Uh, they're creating life and then they have to maintain life, someone else's life. They're lactating. Uh, some of them have had three and four lambs. So I am asking a lot of these ewes. And the odd one, whether it's age or some health struggles that can happen, you know, between breeding time when I do that final evaluation till, till you know, when they lamb, when they've, they've really dropped weight. And it can happen. So I'm just gonna do one quick stroll and then I am going to head in. It's, uh, it's getting late, it's dark. <laughs> I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs>